All right, we've got a job here, and we've been given instruction by the client to simply swap a BIOS chip over. So, they said the BIOS chip has has fried, sorry, the, the, the motherboard is fried, because um, apparently the system they plugged into, plugged into, gave extra power than necessary. It's kind of weird in a way that normally there should be some kind of a protection. So this one with the arrow is a good one, source from AliExpress, apparently. So if it's fried, um, anyway, so they want us to transfer this BIOS into the other system. Um, they put this in, it won't turn on the hard drive. They put this one in, it will turn on the hard drive. So we can easily swap the BIOS out, but I'm curious to know that maybe the problem is more simpler than that. And, you know, I value the data of the client as much as they value the data. So, I'm just assuming transferring the BIOS may not be enough. Maybe you need to transfer one of the bigger controllers. I see a big flash chip on it as well. Could be a cache, maybe. I'm not sure. So, let's have a look under the therm uh, thermal, the microscope see what's going on on this board see if it is a problem that can be addressed easily if it is then you know we give them a working board which they can then all right so we've got a problem with our own power supply We haven't got power coming in. Right. Check these guys. There we go. Okay. So let's have a look at this board. And what's going on? S Media. So that's the BIOS chip there. No problem. So we can transfer that, not a problem. So power rail. So in this case, the power will come from. It's normally from this port. Some clocks there. There's a diode there. That's a BGA chip there. There's a fuse there. Okay. Ah, this fuse looks sort of gone. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. What's going on? So we'll have a look at this in diode mode. Okay, I'm not sure if that's a fuse. So here we get a 1.61 voltage drop, here we get a even more. Okay. Some inductor. So all the components here, they look good, nothing is shorted. It's 
Question is, is that a foose? And uh, So that end goes here, I think. That end goes there. I'm assuming that's a fuse, right? Okay. You know, we're going beyond what the client wanted because I feel like just swapping the board out, the BIOS chip may not help it. Okay, I'm just going to connect the micro USB port here, power, and I want to see what happens to my power system. See if it shorts out. No. So my power, uh, power supply hasn't cut the power, which is good. So, that's in, there's no short on the power ring. So, maybe somewhere here we got power, I'm not sure. Okay, so 5 volts is coming in, it's going somewhere, maybe here, yeah, from here it comes to here, sorry, it comes to here, but here there is no power. There's a short. Okay. How about here? So I don't want to touch this guy yet. And before that, let's cut the power. And see. If he goes there, yep, he goes there. Okay, this may be fine. Maybe that's for this one here. It's like a yeah. okay, I'm gonna focus on this guy. Uh, what I'm gonna do, in fact, is give me one sec. I should have some dead hard drive. <coughs>
And these are very old drives. That's been sitting, God knows how long. Check this one out. I'm looking for one where the power is... Oh, okay. No, it's not what I wanted. Okay. All right. I know what I need. What I'm looking for is the one where it's part of the hard drive. Hmm. This is what I'm after. I think. Hmm, this is this has pretty much what I'm think I'm looking for. Okay. Okay. So plugging the let's do a quick test. Mm. How can I show you? I think the best way to show you. <clears throat> Uh, very hard. Okay. All right. All right. So um, maybe to show you better. So what we're looking at is the red one, which is the top right. We're going to plug in the good one without a hard drive. It pulls in 0 0.2. I'm going to now plug in the what you want? Nothing. Okay, so if you get 0 0.2, you're good. So let's have a look at this guy. Hmm. 
Yeah, I want to know it, what's this. We're in tired night. So that's good. That's what we're getting on the other one. And should be a food somewhere. Foods. We're looking for a food. So we can run a wire. That's a pilot's PGA tail. I'm tempted just to run a wire. Have that on the other side. Has to be a food somewhere, right? Okay, I don't think we don't we need to worry about that food. We can just try. Alright, this is a donor board. I'm tempted to run a wire. I don't want to run a wire. Hmm. Uh, how big is this first? How big is that one? And it's a little bit smaller. All right, I think we'll just need to do. Let me see. Take this guy out. Another one. Where did he go? Oh, ah, yep. Good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, we should be just fine. Okay. A little bit crazy big. To me, that looks like a fuse, man. Okay. So, this is the dead board. Let's put him on a. something to hold it on. Okay. 
My chair is too hard. Yeah, here we go. Beautiful. More lights. Yeah, here we go. Okay. It's a little bit too big. Well, it's in the way. Very hard. Yeah, we just need to do that. Just like that and we should be fine. Okay. Keep it simple. up a little bit. Very simple. We can check if that worked, check the continuity. Here we go, so from here, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. from here to here. Great. Okay. So if you can see the power there again, hopefully, plug it in. We should get a nice yeah. Wow, it's very tight. Okay. <laughs> so now, if I plug it in, hopefully, I get zero point two. Yeah. I get nothing. I'm an idiot. That's an LED. Yes, yes, I'm an idiot. Okay.
3.2. Okay, okay. Problem with the diode, sorry. I'm an idiot, thank you. Alright. Ignore me, okay. <clears throat> Go back there. Remove that. Check. Yeah, so then we need to start to take a flight. Okay, so that's not an issue. Uh, the issue is the that tire there. Okay, this one symbol of an R. See if I can find one comparison. Not on this one. Is that a good giant eye right there? I think. Yeah. So we should be getting a a voltage drop of on the good one zero point one three. Uh, 
1.56 here we get oh that's actually okay no they're actually okay Well, thirteen, three point two. Okay, I get different value here. Uh, one point five seven. One point five seven. That's correct. Now I think I'm just going to go back to the drawing board. Double check my readings again. Hmm, the main power, let's just follow the power rail. Zero point three four. Yeah, okay, both for good readings in the other one. Maybe it is fried, hey. So only data lines go in there. Let me check that area. And the other one. Zero point zero eight. Hmm.
Still in that uh, Okay, now we'll check it there. It's in the ground. Okay, these are extra data lines. Only other thing I can think of, if there was a power, maybe bad cable touching the data line. Very hard. Let's check the resistance readings. This guy. Zero. Zero. And on the other one, zero. Zero. Increasing okay, I'm not gonna spend any more time. Let's remove the bios from the good one. Okay. That's good. So this is the good board with the with the BIOS that we don't need. <coughs> Yep, we make sure they're not running. Delicious.
Okay. Let's protect the IP next to it. That's the bad one. Okay. Check the bad one. So get zero point two, that's good. Now this is the old one. removed there we go very quick one go okay I think that's a good virus which will now go on to
Okay, let's clean it up. As per one of our rewards. Just check the number one was ground. Start pin number four. Yep, they're fine. All right, that's it for this job, a PCB swap. I just tried to see if I can fix it, but I'll need more time to fix the other one. And the missing part is just an LED. Not a big deal. Hmm, if I can find it, I'll put it on. No, it's going into the ether. Well, maybe here it is. Maybe. Yeah, it says fuse. F. Oh, no, that's LED. Okay. Regardless, we put this guy back. He's home. Okay. All right. So simple job. It was just a few minutes job. <laughs> we did have to make it long. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. That's about it for this. Um, hopefully, clients can get their data back and they replace PCB with the replacement files yeah that will be fine see you in the next one